Ladies and gentlemen, these were the scenes earlier today in Eloret when the former governor for was in Gishu and the current senator Jackson Mandago was humiliated right in front of the deputy president Rigadi Dashagwa. And the question which I asked myself, why was Mandago arrested? Why was Mandago arrested? Was the arrest really about the Finland saga? Because what I know, the Finland saga is nothing new in the Republic of Kenya. It is something which has been with us for a very long time. And I'm looking at these videos of uh, Mandago's arrest yesterday. And it will take a long time and convincing to actually convince me that this arrest was not part of PR. You can clearly see Mandago, the policemen who arrested him. You can see them there. For me, this was just part and parcel of drama. <laughs> And by the way, talking of the Finland saga, there is something which I've observed in uh, Rift Valley. Personally, I'm a Luo, so sometimes I might not really be aware of whatever is happening. But I have some two concerns based on what I've realized of late. Currently, there's uh, a lot of interest by the Kalenjin community to leave the country, either to Australia, Finland, or any other opportunity. In fact, Majority of these recruitment farms are now camping in Eldoret. And many farmers are selling their lands to secure futures for their children. Most of them are the ones who are the victims. So in the next few years, if this thing is not addressed, I'm not a member of, I'm not a Kalenjin member, but I'm a Kenyan. I'm just saying, if the issue of selling cows, selling farms, to take children to go and work out of the country is not arrested. We will come here in the next 10 years and we will revisit. But let me focus on this particular arrest of Mandango. Mandango was arrested yesterday because William Ruto was in Eldoret. And today, Mandango was released. Why do you think Mandango was released? Of course, it's constitutional that whenever any Kenya is arrested, He's supposed to be presented before any court, bond within 24 hours. I think that was just in order. But the question I'm asking myself, who facilitated the several numbers of MPs and the MCs and leaders from Rift Valley to go and witness Jackson Mandago's release? Wakili Timothy, uh, MP for Maracuad West, Honorable David Kiplaga, the M M my MP, this is my area MP for Soy. Honorable CPA Julius Ruto, Member of Parliament for Kisses, and Honorable Engineer Joseph Redmengi, the MP for Mgwen. Among us members of County Assembly, I'm told that they, they were locked out. Uh, of course, you know this is uh, a court prisons and uh, of, uh, other, other, other things are happening. And all those who have come, we have people who have come all the way from Narok. We want to thank you very much, uh, Kewa and your team. Uh, and the people who have come from Laikipia, we want to say thank you very much. I just want to give you my assurance that uh, as we are committed to the rule of law, uh, and we are working on a very clear conscience on what the program entails and what it entails. So we want to leave it at that, but we want to thank all of you. And my people from Nakuru County. Because William Ruto was very clear, this guy was arrested yesterday, 
William Ruto was very clear. Ruto Valley listens to Ruto. But why is it that these leaders still defied Ruto, who is fighting corruption in court, to go and show solidarity with Mandango? Something is not adding up for me. Okay, let's say those leaders just showed solidarity. Let me ask you this question. Why do you think Bantago was allowed to go and receive the deputy president in Eldoret today? Because we all know that if the president was not comfortable with uh, Mandago and had to be arrested, how come Brigadi allowed Mandago to receive him? From the, from the pictures you are seeing there, it is actually clear, very clear, that uh, Mandago and the leaders there were comfortable. So that's something which, for me, is not adding up. Why was he allowed to receive the deputy president? In this video, I want us to look at this arrest of Mandago. Because for me, it is political. And if there's one thing which Kenyans should demand for, it's justice. For the parents, for the students, and for the people who sold their lands and cows to seek for better opportunities out of the country and have been conned. That one we must demand. But the arrest of Mandago, in my view, yesterday, was purely politics. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because, number one, William Samara Pruto, the president of the Republic of Kenya, was in Rift Valley yesterday. And he wanted to deliver a strong message to the Republic of Kenya. A strong message to the United States of America ambassador who was present on that particular day. And William Ruto wanted to show Kenyans his commitment in his fight against corruption. So he picked on Mandago. Let me just add just this lighting. So he picked on Mandago. He picked on Mandago and Mandago was arrested to send a signal. And after that arrest of Mandago, I think the fight against corruption ended. And that's why these leaders were actually asked to go and show solidarity with him. That's why he received... Rigadi Gashagwa. You can't tell me that Rigadi Gashagwa as a deputy president did not know that Mandago is unpopular on the ground. After that, Finland saga. In fact, even the governor. That's why Relu Dinga was well rich here yesterday. When he came, when he talked about that particular side. So for me, the arrest of Mandago yesterday had nothing to do with that Finland saga. It was purely about political interest. William Ruto wanted to show the country that he's actually keen on fighting corruption. So that's number one. Number two, something is also telling me that someone somewhere has sat down and figured out William Ruto's po post William Ruto's politics in Rift Valley. And Mandago is part and parcel of that scheme. And the scheme is simple. Arrest Mandago. Address this issue of Finland saga. Of course, the government will use the money, they'll use the money to pay the victims. And then after that, this will go through a process. Some individuals will be jailed, and the same court will declare Mandago free of any wrongdoing. Mandago will then emerge as an innocent individual. Remember, Mandago was a governor for two terms. He's now elected senator. And if you ask me, <laughs> if you ask me, the scheme is well thought out. 
Whether the residents there will buy it or not is what I still don't know. But the scheme is well thought out, well planned, and well scripted. Mandago is being prepared either by Rigadi Gashagwa or by William Ruto. Number three, if you ask me, something is also convincing me that probably someone somewhere within William Ruto's camp has realized that Mandago is emerging as a potential successor to William Ruto in Rift Valley. So basically someone somewhere is skimming post William Ruto's politics again and is out to cleverly destroy Mandago. And that man is none other than the deputy, I mean, the president of the Republic of Kenya, William Samuel Ruto. So I'm sure he planned to humiliate Mandago when he was there. So Mandago was arrested when William Ruto was in, uh, was in the area, taken to blah, blah, then he was released. Then someone convinced him to go and accompany Rigadi Gachagua. Because if if you were if I were Mandago, after all those things, what I'll do, I'll go to court, clear my name. I'll not get out to go and praise songs, sing songs of politicians. So someone somewhere set him up. So he went there and he was humiliated. Can you imagine? This is a former governor of the area who was elected again as a senator of the area. One year later, the same people who voted for him calling you thieves. This Finland saga started way below before election. People are currently depressed over this matter. So if anybody was keen on addressing that particular matter, one year is a long time. Because these people started raising these issues way before election. In fact, some of them were told that Ukienda Finland, Nanyatapegia Rutokura, long time ago. If you listen to the testimonies by those guys, what their presentation before the Senate, I can tell you, you will cry. But I'm reading politics. And lastly, I'm also seeing something. The Gadi Gashawa has been in the mountain, in, in the Rift Valley for now, I think, sixth day, sixth day now. Is it possible that Rigadi Gashagwa has also realized that he might be shortchanged? And therefore, he's trying to bring these people who are powerful, but also perceived to be anti William Ruto, so that they will work together with, with them in William Ruto's team. So, in case of a fallout, then they'll be joining Camp Rigadi Gashagwa. Remember, I've always told you that in politics, the only two constant, which is polit politics of uh, interest and betrayal. Who knows if Ruto could be betrayed by Huru? What will stop Ruto from betraying Rigadi? And what will stop Rigadi from doing what Ruto did to Uhuru by Rigadi trying to go directly to Rift Valley using people like Mandago? I'm just talking politics. Do not hurt me. That's my take. Thank you guys. May you have a good day. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye bye.